Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. I know I am. This is a beautiful Minecraft morning. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, I am really excited to show you guys what I have built today. I have finally done something with my villagers, which means I can now mass produce emeralds. <laughs> uh, I'm incredibly excited, but uh, I know as soon as I get all this set up, 1.8 is going to come out and then I'm going to make my Let's Play series and it's all going to be for nothing. But that's all right. That's all right. It's fun while it lasts, right? So this is what I'm doing with my villagers. I have this one guy here, and I have uh, that. This guy will attract zombies and hopefully zombie villagers. And what that'll do is that will allow me to capture them, put them in a minecart, and send them on their way. Heal them, repair them, whatever you want to say. Send them on their way to this place that I have built. You'll see a little sneak peek of it right there. Mm, I'm excited to show you guys this. This took forever to build, forever to come up with. I had so many ideas, but uh, in the end it came up to an underground anti-zombie fortress. I know, completely original, right? But I think mine's a little bit more unique. It is a fancy square, but you know, whatever. Uh, this is the entrance. Uh, it's it's an entrance, you know, it's clean, that's what I like about it. Iron to kind of make it seem more like a like a bulkhead or whatever, something sturdy so that zombies can't get in. This is what I do with leftover trades. Uh, this is what I'll do if a, a villager ever gets stuck somewhere, and so I can rescue them with that, or if I ever, ever want to add doors uh, to what I have in there. But let's, uh, this is the basic design. I love the ceiling because it looks like a factory ceiling or like a ceiling you would see in a school or a business like tile on top with these little lamps or I don't know LED or whatever fluorescent that's the one fluorescent LED fluorescent lights on top and it really creates this cool little atmosphere that's that's like up top it's factory but this wood and the uh, clay will kind of create a homey uh, home feeling I guess so let's hop in here bam now this is a lot of color this is a lot of stuff to soak in at once so I'm gonna show you what I build first in what order of this kitchen the the floor is tile it's coal blocks and polished diorite which is amazing and unfortunately i have to have this carpet here to hide lighting but that's all right it blends pretty nicely if, if you don't know it's there if you pretend it's not there then it probably won't be there <laughs> um over here we have the oven the stove here of course we have the functioning refrigerator which is completely original cupboards uh crafting table up here sinks with uh disposal and this is really cute. This is a dishwasher with cups and plates. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, yeah, your imagination, Minecraft. A little uh, bar area, I guess you can say. Just a little shelf you can keep your food on if you want to just hang out or whatever. Uh, here we have cake and a little table you eat. Kind of just if you're at home alone or you're just with family. Or if you have a big Thanksgiving dinner, you can come down here and the like main main dinner area i guess it is unfortunately on half slab so we do get this floaty effect that's why there's no plates or cups on it which uh light on top uh i'm not sure how i feel about the purple but we'll go there uh the paintings all around if you see a painting there is probably a pumpkin behind it lighting it up that's how i did it and i really like the paintings it creates a a lived feel it feels like that's a style that this person likes in this house which uh, I've always liked I've always wanted to use more paintings than I do and that kind of brings me to this carpet right here this carpet is my favorite thing that I've I feel like I've originally come up with I mean it's a gray scale it's black gray and light gray but every once in a while you get the splash of really vivid really bright color it's very very cool I think it looks modern I think it looks cool and I am a big fan of it now I'm not sure how relevant this is but if we go down here there's a whole bunch of doors and you can see the hidden lining as well I'm not sure if there is so many villagers because I would not doubt there's 50 villagers in this room alone which is the downside of it you can't really find uh, villagers that easily like the shepherd the fish guy and the uh and uh what's the other guy the farmer they all kind of look the same which is uh but uh what was i saying before yeah it's kind of hard to um 
tell which is which. I forget where I was going. Um, oh yeah, I don't know if it's an actual village anymore. I don't know if the limit to a village has been reached. I think there's like 120 doors down there. I'm not entirely sure, but eh, I have enough villagers as it is. I think I have pretty much everything set. Uh, chairs here with the clay. I really like these colors as clay. And of course, everyone needs their Dance Dance Revolution when they're surviving from zombies, am I right? Uh, television. I like this because it feels like it's split screen almost with the guy dancing in the middle and you can dance and do whatever. And, and yeah, you have your uh, game consoles here and you have Donkey Kong in the corner there. I thought that was a, that was all luck. That was the first painting I threw up and I got Donkey Kong. I was like, alright. Right, we're putting the game station here. Uh, over here we have the pool table with the pool balls included and the pool cue, whatever this is. I'm not a pool guy, so I think we all know this trick. The signs with the carpet on top, really nice. The clay is the stripes and the wool is the solids, in case you're wondering. Uh, I always picture the pool tables with a green kind of lamp. I think it's just because I imagine like a bar pool, but uh, just a little detail you can get glowstone in on. I think that's it for this room. Uh, some pots and plants here and there to kind of give it life. I wish these guys kind of overflowed their pots. You know, like the uh, the hedges, the leaves are a little bit too big. These are a little bit too small. I want them overflowing a little bit. That would be nice. But over here we have, because this is the living space, we have the sleeping space. This is where there is a different variety of uh, like bushes, tables, crafting tables, and chests in there to kind of give it their each little room personalization. This is the only like room section. There's not a room for each villager. That would be insane. But you know, they can come here, they can rest, and they can do whatever. We have dark oak on the ceiling because I think dark on top makes it feel warmer. And we have spruce on the bottom. We have another hidden lighting there. And we have paintings and birch on the side. Anywhere I can use birch, I want to because birch is very, very underused. Uh, I chose red because again, it's a warm color, it's a warm feeling, and I think uh, it goes nicely for the beds as well. Uh, again, continued this amazing carpet design uh, in this room. And we're wrapping up here, there's not too much left except for this room. This is where the villagers, once they are healed, they will be brought down here into this minecart and then I can release them into here in this beautiful beautiful room. I chose green just because it was almost outsidey. Same thing with the dirt on top. This, If I broke this dirt it would be directly outside so instead of having another layer on top outside I just decided to go with dirt just because it made it uh, feel a little bit more outside like you were transitioning outside and transitioning inside which is really cool. I really like that. I'm a really big fan of this design. I'm a really big fan of this build. It took me a while. It is rather simplistic, but I'm really proud of it. I hope you guys enjoyed as well. I hope you guys can hear me over this annoying rail sound. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and until the next absolutely beautiful Minecraft morning. Last time I said Call of Duty morning, but uh, the next beautiful Minecraft morning. I'll catch up with you guys later, and as always, have a great day.